Hello there, welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 A Game of Thrones. We have a Liberty War to, to finish off today. So let's zoom in and get straight back into that. We just siege this castle. Uh, let us go ahead and help out with this one, I guess. Uh, why not? And then after this Liberty War, we will begin the war for Castamere. At least I hope so. At least I hope so. Also, guys, in the last video, I noticed my mic started here. And by the end, it was like up here. If you click from the beginning of the video to the end, you'll see what I mean. <laughs> uh, I'm not imagining the mic slowly going up. What I need to do, I think, is get like a little weight or something for the arm. Because it, it's very weird. Anyway, enough of that. Enough of that. We have Lannister buildings and, and walls and castles to crush and siege. Uh, somehow we are losing this war. What? Are you crazy? We've already sieged multiple castles. Okay, the game's going crazy. Right, let's try and siege this as well then. Uh, we might have to separate some of these armies to speed things up. I mean, it's very fast though. 60 days to siege. What's this? Uh, ask kind of faith for claims. No, we're not going to be doing that. Excuse me. Oh, I've got hiccups now. Um, we won't be doing that at all. Uh, we got another martial pack. Beautiful. Never back down. Friendly fatal casualties. Minus 20%. Plus 5 advantage. Uh, that sounds very nice. Let's get that and then we can get household guard as well for even more captains. They are very important in this mod, but also our playthrough in general. Prisoner taken in siege. We can't ransom them, though. Okay, let us keep on going through the land. We must try and siege as much as possible. We're up to 11% now. Now that the sieges uh, have started flowing. Six months to take this. Oh, it's these guys who are sieging fast, not me. Okay. Okay, I'm helping, guys. I promise. Uh, I swayed my spy master. Let's pick a new target because he has 100 opinion of us now. Who else could use with swaying? The steward doesn't really like us. So let's start swaying Lord Robert over here. Hopefully we can align him with our values and whatnot. And we can become friends. Also, we now have... So what are we going to build here? Um, I mean, logging camps could be useful. It gives us extra gold. The problem is, I think we need to build... The workshops. No, not the workshops. Our workshops would be good for archer maintenance. And then we need something which focuses on archers itself. Which would be... That would be the forest forts? No, there's something better. Uh, that would be the outposts, which we can build now. So archer damage and toughness goes up. Hostile raid time, defender advantage. Let's go ahead and build some outposts. Uh, we could have got more men at arms, but... Let's buff our archers instead. We're going to need to make the most out of what we have. The Lannisters are coming as well. I see them in the north. They're taking back some of their lands. Uh, we could go and fight them. Although all of their men-at-arms are in this army. We could call the Veil as well. But I, I don't think we really need the Veil. So let's hold off on that. Also, let's speed up time just a tad. There we go. Uh, and we can continue the siege a little bit more. Hopefully... Oh, who went and fought the Lannisters? Oh, no. Wait, are they winning? Oh, they're winning! What is this army? Holy crap! I mean, well, that's gonna help the war score. 69%. Very nice. Also, we're not even on the castle. That's a city. <laughs> oh, this is going ve very smoothly. Lord Doran has risen up against King Aegon VI of the Iron Throne in the Dissolution War. Oh, boy, yes. That's going to be awesome. Uh, I must choose to stand with King Aegon the Sixth of the Iron Throne. Join Lord Doran of Dawn. Or stay neutral and let the tide of time guide my decision. Lord Lanso has chosen to support the rebels. And I must also choose to support the rebels. The rebellion's cause is righteous. With the war unfolding, I must now decide how many forces I shall commit. He already gets enough. I am not sending Dorian anymore. I am already in a liberty war myself. Um, so now if we look at this, who rids up against the target? The Greyjoys, the Tullys have, uh, as well as um, the Martells. Uh, the Reachers stay true to the Targaryens. Okay, nice. It, it, it's bugged though, it's bugged. Right, a, a bloody... There we go. Okay, there we go. So the Greyjoys have joined. Uh, the Lannisters, the Westerlands have joined. Uh, but no one else super big. I mean, the Neck have joined. And if we look over here... We... Oh, they got Old Town. They got Lord Willis of Highgarden. Oh, dear. They've got the... What are they called again? I completely forgot. Randall Tarly. There we go. I know that name. The Tarleys from our uh, other playthrough. The North has not got involved, though. I can't help but notice. The North has stayed neutral. Uh, if only they had joined us. 
Maybe we would stand a chance. Uh, we're not going to go and fight in that anyway, though. We want to win this Liberty War over here. Uh, let's speed that up a little bit. I'm a bit scared that Targaryen armies might come this way and kill us, though. My lord, it has come to my attention that there is a rare opportunity to invest in the lordship of Borenlein. My wife, Elisa, draws up the details for the business investment, and it does indeed look as if the deal could benefit Borenlein greatly if successful. Successful business... Hold it. Oh, let's try it. It is a riff worth, worth taking, uh, and it's successful. There we go. I can't speak for some reason. Uh, the Crimson Cloaks needs a worthy successor. We don't have one, so we must search the lands for one. Hopefully, we will find one soon. There we go. Another siege there. What I might do is just attach myself to one of these armies. Let's follow the, the Cloganes around. We're friends. We're married into each other's families. We'll follow them around the land uh, and trust. Okay, we're going in to fight. <laughs> uh, let's slow that down a bit. We will crush them. No doubt about that. <laughs> uh, although I wasn't expecting that. There we go. We can enforce the demands. I could even demand a hostage. Except I cannot. So what happens here? The crown authority is reduced one step. So hopefully that means we can now declare war on Castamere. Gets limited crown authority. Yes, exactly. He spends 500 prestige. And we all get a weak hook on him. Let us end this war. Also, let us... Uh, yeah, let's make sure it's paused because I need to spend my hook. Greetings, my thoughtful vassal. Peace be with you. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. So be it. Just like that. We have defeated him. Wait, uh, so now you have limited crown authority. That's true. Now, I could also modify my contract or demand a council position. Uh. Oh, there's so much I can do with a hook. Like, we could even buy Artifact, but we don't have gold. <laughs> I could buy Linus at uh, his Dynasty Banner. Uh, declare me Regent. No, I want to modify the contract. We could get Council Rights. Yes, let, let's get Guaranteed Council Rights. I'll modify the contract. There we go. Greetings, my thoughtful vassal. Circumstances have made it necessary for me, for me to make the following alterations to my contract. I trusted you will find these changes, to be fair. So now he should automatically uh, put me on his council, right? Demand council position. Oh, I can demand one. Let us demand... Oh, steward would be good. Even though I'm not a good steward, the extra two gold could be huge. So I'm going to demand a steward position. Lord Willem can't be fired. Ah, oh, so we could get Master at Arms, which would be fitting for us. Oh, I could become Castellan. Eh, uh, we're going to take, let's see, Admiral... Now, let's take Master at Arms, because we still get some gold, because Army Gold Maintenance is reduced. And we get 15% martial experience. We will become Master at Arms. And we cannot be fired for 25 years. Very nice. We will not pay homage. How did we do in that battle? <laughs> oh, it was bloody brilliant. We even killed two of their knights as well. Right. Uh, the Crimson Cloaks needs a worthy successor. Did we find one? We're currently searching for one. I can ask my head of faith for gold. Now let's ask for Septum once more for gold. The, the staunch one. It's giving me 100 gold. Very nice. Very nice. Um, I'm going to instantly spend that on some more Rainbringers. We will need them. In the coming war, lads. And now, the time has come. Why can I not declare war? It says I can declare war on Warden Stafford, right? Yes. If you, uh, your military and are stronger than the enemy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that, that's a whole load of nothing, right? Uh, but if I go here and I go to my claims. Why can I not declare war? This is very frustrating. Um, uh, I have to do it this way. Which is just... Do I really have to declare war on my leech just to get this? This seems very stupid. Uh, and we have a truce now as well. How long is the truce for? The truce will last for... Uh, we need to hover it, don't we? Five years, so 306. Okay, that's a little bit tedious. I don't understand why we can't declare war. Is it because they're both Lannisters or something? I don't know. Uh, we have war declaration rights. We have a claim... Uh, Liege only has two crown authority Not that it should matter because we have war declaration rights uh, I don't know why we can't declare war uh, Accolade successor has been found though uh, Let's go ahead and sort that out The crimson cloaks will now have a successor Ernest is not serving as a captain though Right Ernest 
You must serve as a captain because I need you to serve as a, a clean knight. There we go. The Cloaks of Castamir now needs a worthy successor as well. Gregor. Where is Gregor? You will serve as a knight? Why are you not serving as a knight? Why are people... Ah, interesting. Anyway, right, Gregor. You will now serve as a knight. Serve me well, my friend. The clang of weapons and excited cheers draw me towards the courtyard. What is going on? I find two armoured warriors engaged in a vigorous sparring match. Both of them have undoubtedly been tested on the field of battle. With a final reckless assault, one of the fighters disarms the other. To my surprise, she kneels before me and takes off her helmet. It is my guest, Jenora. I dedicate this victory to you, Lord Athos. He says solemnly. Bringing your honour is my only desire. Ah, oh, look at this. You are You flatter me, my lady. No, you must abandon this foolish endeavour. I already have a wife. I do not wish to uh, remove these these good alliances I have. Uh, this is pretty terrible, though. Ugh. Is it because I'm in a mega war, maybe, that I can't take part? Or something? I just heard the mic move. Uh, that I can't take part in this? I'm not sure. My injuries are slowly getting better, and pain is no longer my constant companion. I am still weakened, but today I am capable of many things that were impossible just a moon ago. So I am no longer severely wounded. I am now just normally wounded. Also, let's, uh, I forgot to change this. Oh, okay, we're at war, so that's why he's holding it, right? <laughs> uh, I thought it was still saved from the thumbnail. Ah, why can I not declare war on Castamir? It's, it's very frustrating. I, I don't get it. Uh, I really don't understand it. My wound has healed. Okay, I'm no longer wounded as well. Very nice. Brave news for Westeros. King Egon! A long-forgotten scion of the treacherous House Blackfire has landed in the Lordship of Rockle, with him at the head of a host of 10,000 men under the command of Harry. Just as the wounds of the realm were thought to be healing, the Seven Kingdoms are once again at war. <gasps> Perhaps I should join this Black Dragon. Oh no, I play as him. Okay, no. Perhaps this could be advantageous. Wait, so the Targaryens are now going to be at two wars, right? So they got the, the Blackfire Rebellion. They only have 41 fires. Ah, Old Town has joined the, the Blackfires. So they've actually lost a few allies. Right, right, right. But then how does that work for our war? Old Town has left. But we still have a 25,000 um, difference. Um, but it depends how the battles... Maybe they, they, they play good. Who knows? Um, let's zoom in here. I have no idea where their armies would be because of fog of war and whatnot. But that's fine. We're, we're going to stay over here and remain salty at the fact we can't declare war on Castamir. <laughs> ah, I really don't get it. It doesn't even tell me why. Which is the frustrating thing. Yeah, it's even got a new ruler now. Ah, I really don't understand this at all. It's a little bit frustrating because it says I could declare war. Is it bugged? Like, is this just bugged? Or do I really have to go to war the Lannisters? I might have to go to war with these guys. Which bloody sucks. Although they only have 7,000 men now. What happens if I break a truce? Let us see. I spend 250 prestige. I lose a level of frame. Fame. I get broken truce for three years. In your opinion, minus three. It's not very good to break a truce. Yeah. Uh, the problem is if we break a truce, everyone's going to come for us. So let's not do that. I'm going to sip my tea and speed up and then cut until something interesting happens. And there we go. A lot of stuff has happened. We have found a spy. Who sent you? And we've also got a martial plan. Let's get another four captains. Uh, and if I just double check how they're being assigned. I think you just have to toggle this, right? And it should fix who is knight and who isn't. Yes. Okay. I think that's a Crusader Kings thing. It's a little bit buggy. Uh, lookout towers have now been constructed. Very nice. My daughter Jane is more likely to receive a good education as well. Everything... Is looking good. She currently has free intrigue. She would be a better diplomatic character, but we need the intrigue. Armand willingly exposed who is spying on you, begging you for the mercy. It was Lord Lanso. <gasps> Armand is my knight. He must rot in a cell. He must. And then. Oh, I could blackmail him. What's this? Blackmail? Oh, I got a strong hook. Oh, that's very nice. Uh, what I could also do, though is banish him to the wall and then i get his gold i will send him to join the night's watch we need the gold 
I was put it to good use. Also, we're we're absolutely losing this war, the Targaryens, the dissolution war. Uh, in fact, all of the armies are being wiped out. Right. Uh, that doesn't look good for the Blackfire Rebellion then either, does it? <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Why did we join this? Uh, they are losing the Blackfire Rebellion, though. Yeah, but they only have 39,000. Bloody hell, look at the, the men at arms list. Why, another spy? Who sent you? Ah, he refused to say who sent him. Okay, then he must rot in a cell. Can I can I kill him and make an example of him? Oh, who are you? You are a bastard. Your mother was killed during a siege. You are lowborn. Who was your mother? Your mother was also a lowborn foe. Do you know what? I have a soft heart. A soft place in my heart for bandits, bastards. I will recruit you. Welcome to my court. I will give you a second chance. As for you. Ah, we can't do that. Let's send him to the wall. Oh, we could make him take the vows instead. Uh, no. We will send him to the wall to serve the Night's Watch. I hear the wall needs more able men to defend us against these uh, terrible stories I, I hear from the North. I don't know if they're telling the truth. Uh, but yeah, greetings, Lord Asphroth of Broraline. I have no choice but to accept your conditions for my release. Farewell, Hugh. Enjoy. Enjoy the frozen the frozen cold in the north. But I really, I'm so confused why I can't bloody declare war. It makes no sense. It really makes no sense, does it? Um, Nothing here is telling me why I can't declare war. Either it's bugged or something has changed in the mod that I wasn't aware of when I took my two months off. Uh, it probably is this, although I, it would be a stupid idea if I can't declare war against fellow vassals, no? Why would you ever play as someone uh, who is uh, a count then uh, or a duke? Like, uh, it makes no sense. Which means we have to declare war on these guys, which means we have to wait for 306, which is another three years. Okay. Castos has gained wise man. He has healed me many times. Very good. My wife is pregnant as well. Right. Let us speed things up. <laughs> I want to go to war, damn it. Ah. Oh dear. Accolade has lost rank. Um, friend has been taken prisoner as well. She is imprisoned by Lord Meldred of Pebbleton. Ah, why did I ever make friends with a Lannister? I have betrayed my father. I have betrayed him terribly. A son has finally been born. What should we call him? Name him after an ancestor. I could call him Athos after my father. No, my father wasn't Athos, was it? Um, let's see. After my father, Lymond. May you grow to be strong and wise, my son. Welcome to the world. Let us go ahead and pin him, and we'll see what kind of man he turns into. New leech? How did you die? He was executed by King Egg on the 6th? Ha 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 ha! That's amazing. As I lean over the map in the council chamber, a sudden creak turns my head towards the door. My daughter Jane appears in the hallway, walks into the room. She looks at me with an inscrutable look for a moment, then walks over to me, wrapping me in a tight hug. I look at her, a hidden tear in my eye while my hand is stroking her hair in an effort to reciprocate the gesture. You are a very good daughter, Jane. You make me very happy. Thank you. Uh, I could declare more wars now. Uh, Lord Linden of Black Sound. Why do I have a Cassus Belly on you? Excommunication war. Ah, okay, okay. We're not going to do that. Uh, I can't declare war on you guys. Yeah, nothing has changed with my leech changing. Okay, I thought maybe there was a bug there, but uh, apparently not. Uh, the kid is sickly as well. The Lannisters are in a spot of bother at the moment. Wow, we got a one-year-old and a newborn is in line for the throne. Uh, things are about to get chaotic. In fact, maybe. Maybe we could do a dissolution faction, but we can't. We can't join any factions for even longer, right? Uh, you are fit to join factions until 306. Oh, okay, it's the same time we can... Um, uh, declare war right the fire rules drinks have been had and rolf is calling out to me for a story my first thought is of a famous westerman folktale a classic that never fails to delight on the other hand what if i told a story of my own life perhaps the time i became friends with miriel Lan Ugh, no 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 let's keep it traditional and i have gained a new friend rolf it is a pleasure to meet you my friend we will do many things together uh declare wars ask for claims uh, Hart's home. That's way in the north, isn't it? Hart's home. Yes. Uh, oh, it's in the Vale, even. Uh, let's see. We Where is Deerfield? 
Deerfield is in the Crown Lands. Okay. Uh, we're not going to go for any of these then. Hopefully one pops up in the Westlands one day. Wet nurse position has been vacated. Oh, damn it. Right, let's go ahead and get ourselves a new wet nurse. Marita! I freed you from the prison, and now you will be my wet nurse. I have found you employment. Ah, what a nice redemption arc for her. Right, uh, why are the Valerians over here? <laughs> How the hell did this happen? <laughs> what? Okay, uh, we have Valerians over here now somehow. Bloody hell. Uh, I missed when that happened. You guys, uh, yeah, yeah, you have a lot of men at arms. I mean, uh, we could take them. Wait, the black fires? Oh, you're fighting for... Oh, you're fighting for the Targaryens now. Right, right, right. Okay. Uh, arrange a betrothal to the fort for Athos. I propose a betrothal between my son and your sister, Cersei Vickery. Do you know what? Lord Tybert of House Payne. I will accept your kind offer. And we will uh, welcome this alliance. Will you declare war with us? Unfortunately, it's broken, though. And... Uh, it's not broken anymore. Right. It was just weird because a Lannister owned it. I think I had to declare war on the lead Lannister. Maybe something weird there. Right. Okay. The time has come, lads. For too long have the Lannisters ruled over Castamere. We will take back our ancestral home and make it into a grand settlement. This is going to be a hard fight, though. A very hard fight. These guys... Oh, they only have 100 crossbowmen. Yeah. Never mind, lads. It's an easy fight. Let us declare war. It has finally fallen upon us. We can call on all of our allies as well. Let us call on Lord Robert. A Fang Hill, the Cleganes. We will also call on our new ally, Lord Tybert. Uh, how many men at arms do you have? 200 Rainbringers. Let us call on them. We could also call on the Veil. Vale. Although I don't think we need them. But I will call on them just in case. <laughs> Talk about overkill. The Aaron support the Reigns. The time is coming, lads. The time is coming. Right, let's unpause. We'll wait for like a few armies to get to us first. Uh, excellent stuff. Allies are joining the war. There we go. Court physician's knowledge has also increased. Bloody hell, Lord Robert is bloody massive. Uh, new law. High crown authority. Ah, it's too late for that, my liege. Uh, faction created against Lord Crest and Liberty faction already. Bloody hell. Uh, you're screwed, my kid. Right, let's raise the men. I could lead them myself. In fact, I'm going to because we're no longer wounded. It's just time we show our men. But we are brave and we are commanders. I do not send my men off to die for me. I fight alongside them. Holy crap, we might have to do that sooner than planned. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go east. <laughs> let's go east. We have friends in the east. Once we hook up, uh, it'll all be good. Right, available perk. Uh, courtship. Uh, I want to get down here. But again, cast a spelly cost, it's too late. Now, natural dread and control growth could be nice. Um, I would like gallants. But uh, with all of this, I mean, marriage acceptance for family is good as well, actually. Yeah, let's get courtship. And then promising prospects will actually be very useful when I marry off my children, which should be soon, actually. Um, let's just hope we, we don't die in a battle now uh, before our allies come to join us. In fact, um, allies, help. Do I have someone that has army speed? I, this is not army speed, is it? That's travel safety. Oh, crap. Yeah, um... Oh, bloody hell. We don't have travel speed. Oh, bloody hell. Why am... My, my allies... Come south! Help me! Ah, you fuck! You bloody fools! I almost swore. You idiots! You idiots! Why would you... I went east to link up with you. Okay, successor. Close with cast of it. It's fine. It's fine. A terrible start to the war. <laughs> uh, uh, but we will not lose. We will win the war. Ernest Smith was captured... Oh, that was one of my acclaimed knights. Oh, he's got the Valerians fighting for him as well. Okay, it's Crimson Cloaks now needs a worthy successor. In fact, they both do. Okay, let's seek one here. Uh, I, I don't have prestige, in fact. Okay, uh, you already have a successor. Very nice. Oh, dear. I can pardon my courtier. They're a fornicator. They're not important to me. So we're just going to ignore this. 
Yeah, we, we, we don't care about them. All right, luckily my army has survived, but uh, we, we took great losses. Leobold has come to my keep seeking a place to stay for a short while before resuming his journey to the court of the Lord he will be serving. Uh, sure, any mace of the Citadel is welcome in my halls. Also, let me just quickly go back to this. I'm going to go to Chivalry. Uh, organized army, yes. We're going to be losing a little bit of gold, but that's fine. Hopefully... Ah, oh, they're going to attack me again, aren't they? I was walking the corridors of my keep today, I ran into my guest, Leobold, and began speaking with him. During our conversation, I noticed that he had a link of gold in his chain. I brought this up to him, and we began to talk at length about accounting and stewardship. Truly illuminating conversation. Interesting stuff. Oh, they're going to bloody wait for me, aren't they? Uh, I have left a good impression. Very nice. We might have to disband the army. Oh, no, the Arins are here. Oh, beautiful. Right. And let us waste no time. Let us go straight for Castamere. And lay siege. I will take it back. No matter what it costs me. The crimson cloaks. Yeah, but I don't have anyone. Yeah, I don't have anyone. Okay. Uh, my counselor has died. So we got a new scepter now. At least he likes me. At least he likes me. Right. Uh, oh dear, everything's happening. Yeah, these guys are just sat here. I don't think there's much they can do. How much will it take us to... 12 months. That's not too shappy. War declared King Aegon VI is being attacked by the House Tarth. What's this about? A boring... No, no, no. That's my war. Uh, this one. A liberty war. Ah, okay. It's nothing too serious. And the Blackfire Rebellion is, is not going so well. Uh, they just don't have enough men, do they? Uh, not at all. So the Targaryens, it looks like, will stay in power for now, lads. And it looks like we're going to take back Castamere. Do not fear. It was a rocky start. But we we are the better side. <laughs> ah, dear, I, my allies just completely left me. I, I was running towards them and, and they just went north. Um, I should have waited to raise my men. It's fine. Oh, we're being raided by Ironborn? Oh. We need to get back Red Rain as well in the future. Hopefully they don't raid me. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go back somehow. Uh, Lord Tybalt, my hook on him was soon... Soon, uh, expire. I can offer a squire. Arrange a marriage. Buy artifact. I could buy an artifact. A, pe a pheasant feather. It's not really worth it, is it? No. Okay, we're, we're not going to use that hook. It's fine. How long left on this? Ten months. Four months. Eight months. Got another one there. Five months. It's all looking good. Lord Tybert, my alliance has expired with Lord Tybert. That's unfortunate. And my sister Cersei can marry though. Right. She's 13th in line. Did it say? Let's try and get an alliance. We could get an alliance. With the Arbor. House Redwine. This would be good. She's 16. He's 13. They are close in age. Let us do that. They have 7,000 men. They can help us in future wars. If the need arises. Which probably the need will arise. If we want to take over the Duchy of Castamere. I could call on my ally. Let's not do that. We probably won't need his help, to be fair. Uh, these guys are doing nothing. <laughs> They've just been camping in the field for all of this war, uh, which is rather funny. Wait, was I raided? I know, that's my lead being raided. King Aegon VI has been excommunicated by the High Septon. Oh, wow. Oh, that's spicy. White peace. Never. Castamere is rightfully mine. And I will take back. What is mine? Prisoners taken in siege. We have took a Lannister. Warden Davon. There's only one thing we can do a Lannister. Holy crap. We must kill him. I must. Adios. Ward Davon. We get five gold though? No. Okay. I must kill him. Are there any more Lannisters in my uh, my dungeons? Not now, not now. Okay, we've killed one Lannister. That's that's plenty. Right, so we control the war objective now, correct? Uh, war score from held objectives. But I hold Castamere. Do I not? Yeah, I, I, I control everything here. Okay. Uh, but it's not, not everything. I guess we could control more. I don't know. Right, let's try and siege something else. <laughs> We need to siege more, lads. It's not enough. The gods will not favor us. Uh, the Arryns, if they could go ahead and kill them, that would be nice. There we go. The Arryns are hunting them down. We're going to get battle score. 81%. Okay, we should get it anytime now. Excommunication. Lord Armory. 
Oh, I wonder if anyone would declare war against the... Uh, Egon. My prisoner, Warden Miranda, has escaped my dungeons. Ah, I curse you, Miranda. Curse you, you've made me look like a fool. Uh, we took a Valerian prisoner. We can actually ransom. Let's ransom you for 24 gold. We'll keep you because you're worth 50 gold. And he only had 24 gold to pay with uh, anyway. Uh, let's do some more sieging. Why not? I think one or two more sieges and the war should be over. In fact, they're going to win another battle. There we go. It is time to enforce our demands. We could demand a hostage. Isn't that his son and heir? No, it's not his son and heir. Okay. Uh, it is his son though. Let's demand a hostage. That will prevent him from uh, attacking us. And I will enforce demands. Greetings, Lord Athos of Boronley. Your wisdom and mercy are legendary. You are much greater foe than I imagined. In order to pull an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with demands. So be it. And there we go, lads. Part one of our plan has been completed. Castamere is now back under our control. Oh boy. So what do we need now uh, to revive House Rain? We need the Duchy of Castamere. That we do. Uh, who holds the Duchy? That would be... Um, oh, how do we see this here? Uh, oh, this guy owns it. Ah, but we took his hostage. So you are my new rival. Oh, wow. You own so much land. You're very powerful. Also, we have a problem now where we're over our domain limit, which is a little bit worrying. Um, but there's not much we can do. I guess we need the Duchy. What we could do is keep on fabricating claims within Castamere. Let's set one up now. And hopefully one day we just get a claim on the uh, on the duchy, right? Yeah, so let's fabricate here. How long will it take? 16 months. That's not too long. If we fabricate here, uh, that should be fine. Uh, and we will get a duchy claim. But that's it for today, guys. We now have Castamere back under our control. We're going to start building it up. Although not too much because we don't, we're not going to earn anything from it anyway. But we need to work on getting a duchy, and then we can earn from it. But that's it for today. Thank you for watching, as always. I'll see you next time.